Well, everyone, you may have just picked up the Samsung Galaxy Fold 7, and you might be trying to figure out exactly how to go ahead and use this particular phone. So I'll give you a quick breakdown on exactly how to use it. It's a beautiful device. It looks so much better than all the other folds combined, and it's very slim this time. So I'll show you exactly how to use it. Now I did have to make sure that I just turned off the automatic brightness, but looking around the whole entire device, you can see that we get a beautiful display on the front side, a front facing camera. You do have the hinge on the left side. You do have your buttons on the right side. So you have your volume down button and your power button. You have your USB type C port on the bottom. And on the back side, you have a triple camera setup. Now it's a triple camera setup that protrudes out quite a bit, so keep that in mind, but it still is like a really good looking type of camera. And that's kind of it on the exterior. Now you do have your standard SIM card eject port that is usually around this type of device. On the Galaxy Fold, it is actually at the top. So if you want to go through and eject out your SIM card, you can always grab some sort of like SIM card eject tool. And I should have one link around here, and it looks like I don't. If I did, all you'd have to basically do is to go through and place a little small needle or small pin of some sort inside of this particular hole right there. And you'd basically be able to go through and get your SIM card installed inside of your Galaxy Fold. Now you have a couple of different ways of kind of going through and basically opening up and using your Galaxy Fold. So you can use the main display on the front side. It's actually a very good display. It looks pretty similar to like most Galaxy phones. So it doesn't really even look like that bad of a display even on the front side. But I will tell you, if you are trying to go through and if you're using the foldable display when it's unfolded, you will have to go through and basically grab it from the side. My favorite way of opening up my Galaxy Fold is by having one side on one part, like part and the other hand on the other part and just kind of prying it open. Now, I've seen some people like kind of put their nail in there and kind of open it. Sometimes that can cause some scratches in the display. I probably wouldn't recommend it. If you just kind of do it this way, like you kind of just grab it and you kind of open it this way, that's a really easy thing to do. But also keep in mind on the back side, this hinge, sometimes if you leave your finger there, sometimes they might pinch it. So make sure you remove your fingers before actually unpinching yourself. Now you get into the actual display. So this is what the fold looks like when it's unfolded. And it is an amazing panel. This thing looks very, very good. It's a massive type of display, but you use it just like any other Android phone. So you can basically go through and you can, you know, turn on and off your phone just by clicking the power button. You can turn on your phone by double tapping onto the display and you'll come inside of your lock screen. So you'll have your standard stuff. You'll have your time right up at the top, the date, your status bar icons. As always, if you want to edit up your lock screen, you can go through and hold down on your lock screen like this and you'll be able to start customizing it. This is something that's really cool. I love being able to go through and customize my lock screen. And you're going to be able to get that type of capability right inside of this type of panel. So that's going to be something that's going to be really cool. So you can go through and kind of customize that and kind of, you know, adjust that here. So I'd recommend having some fun with it. We can click on done at the very top and you can start to swipe up. So now you'll basically come inside of your you no know, home page. So within this page, you have a couple of different things. So you can go through, you can swipe between the pages. Like I said before, you have your status bar icon up there. You have all these different types of app icons and widgets. So you can always go through and you can basically hold down on a widget like this and you can go through and kind of move it around and kind of adjust it whichever way you want to. You can also remove widgets if you no longer want them and hold them down like this and you can tap on the remove button right there and that will go through and basically remove those widgets from our particular display. So that's another really cool thing that you can kind of just do right there. Now on top of that, you can also go through and you have a lot more options here as well. You have your dock at the bottom that always stays the same. And like I said, even with app icons, you can move them around. At the bottom, you have your navigation bar. So if, if you just opened up your phone right now, it usually will give you this app navigation bar, or you can go through and use gestures instead. But the middle button allows you to basically come into home. So if you're inside of an application and you want to go back home, you can basically tap into that home button and it will basically come back home. You can tap on the Recents button, and that will basically show you all the recent applications that you basically just used. And you can tap on that Back button right there to basically bring you back. So get used to that because you're going to be using that quite a bit inside of your whole entire experience. On the top, you have your navigation status bar right up here. So you can swipe down from the top left corner, 
and you will start to see all these different types of applications that you have or the notifications that you have inside of your particular phone. So if you get any texts or phone calls that you've missed or emails, all those things will basically come up right inside of this particular page. So you can kind of go right into here and you can have some fun with it because there is a lot of stuff that you can kind of adjust. So kind of go through in here and kind of see what you can kind of do here. You can swipe out of notifications like this and you can clear all notifications by clicking the clear button in the bottom right corner. Now what you can also do is you can swipe down from the top right corner. So just like that in the top right corner, you can swipe down and you can start to see all these other things too. So you have your quick toggles, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. You have your other toggles right here. You have brightness, you have sound that you can go through and increase and decrease here as well, which is something that's really cool. And you can go through and you can adjust all these other things as well. You have smart view, you have nearby devices, you have smart things, you have a lot of widgets here that you can kind of customize. And that right there is another really cool thing that you can go through and kind of modify and kind of adjust here as well. Now, if you're trying to see all the applications you have inside of your device, all you're going to have to do here is swipe up from the bottom and you'll be able to see all the applications that you currently have inside of your Samsung Galaxy Fold 7. So what you can do here is you can see all your applications, you can download more apps from the Play Store, and they will all be supported and shown right here. So sometimes it can be a little frustrating because you're, you download an application and you might, might not be able to find it on your home screen. Well, rest assured, all those applications will come up right here. Now, Samsung has a lot of different applications built in already. So if you want to, you can open up the Samsung Galaxy Store and you can basically start using the Galaxy Store and use Good Lock and all those other things because there's a lot of things that you can download there. You can also go through and jump right inside of the settings application. So jump right into settings like this and there's going to be a lot of things that you can do within the settings application. So one of the first things I'd recommend doing is going into your display settings and turning off adaptive brightness. I hate adaptive brightness, you might like it, but if you don't like it where it automatically changes, I'd recommend just turning that off. But the settings application will give you a bunch of different things that you can kind of modify, that you can kind of adjust. So I'd recommend kind of going through here, just finding the exact things that you want to adjust. I mean, you have your display settings, your battery settings, wallpaper and style you can kind of adjust, themes, home screen, lock screen, and always on display. So you can just kind of keep going. The one thing I'd recommend probably every person to do is under software update, go through and software update your Galaxy Fold 7 as soon as you buy it. That's probably one of the most important things I'd recommend doing because the last thing you wanna do is to like wait to not update your phone and you might be running into some problems or you might have like an older version of a device when you could be getting the latest and greatest software. So go through, update your phone, and that's another thing I'd recommend doing too. At a high level, that's basically how you use the Galaxy Fold 7. It's a beautiful phone, it has so much stuff going for it, it's a really good device. If you want to close it, just grab it by the sides and close it down like this. I would recommend putting a screen protector on this phone, at least on the front side, and putting a case on this phone as well. That would be one of the most important things I'd recommend every single person to do because it would be giving you kind of a better experience and it would kind of protect you know, your investment, so to speak. And again, it's a beautiful phone. Just keep in mind, keep it in good condition. And if you plan on reselling it, I would recommend putting a case on it because that would probably be one of the best things you can do. So that's essentially how you use your Samsung Galaxy Fold 7. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solon.